Thanksgiving is right around the corner. I know the kids are going to be out probably for most of Thanksgiving week. So we've got some ideas on how you can help them get your Thanksgiving table ready to go. Adina is here with some great crafting tips. can't believe Thanksgiving right around the a corner. A week away or two weeks technically, two, right? You know, yes. all, it's a little later this year. Yes. And I love your beautiful place setting Thank right you. there. And it's very inexpensive and very easy to make. And you can get most of this over at Anna's Linens. And then a lot of it I got over at Michael's Arts and Crafts. So easy two stops and you got everything you need. Okay, let's start with the charger plate okay. because I love this because it's not just something to hold a plate. It has a message too. Exactly. And all you need is the Americana chalkboard paint. Mm -hmm. Put three coats on there and get a, a piece of chalk and have, and what you can do is put these at every place setting and during dinner you can have everybody reveal what they're thankful for. Right. So I wrote down that I'm thankful for my girls. Great idea. It just yes. takes a couple of coats of paint, mm -hmm. uh, the chalkboard paint, and you're ready to go. Exactly. And this is the time Thanksgiving when you bring out the real napkins, not yes, the paper you do. napkins the very like at my house. And you can get these over at Anna's Linens as well. These are so inexpensive. And all you're going to do is take the little tag off here. Mm -hmm. And for the ring, I just got these plain rings here. Go over to Michael's and get some ribbon here mm -hmm. and you're just going to wrap it around here we'll cut a piece off no bows necessary just some hot glue you're going to wrap it around completely and it's so easy it really is something fun that the kids can do and they yep. feel like they're a part of the thanksgiving preparations while mom and aunts and grandmas are in there mm -hmm. baking you're going <laughs> to put the kids to work decorating the table and so you go all the way around mm -hmm. and you can make it fancy and pretty or you can just let them have fun with it and then when you get to the end you could tie a knot or you can just get some hot glue here mm -hmm. and put some of that glue on there. Let's get this guy going. Remember your little Band-Aid tip. If you don't want to let the kids burn their fingers, put a Band-Aid on their fingers first. Put a little bit on the inside. Mm -hmm. And then you're done with that part. And you can leave it like that if you want yes. to. Or you can go one more step. You could grab a little flower. Be sure to cut that little tip off, that plastic tip. So it'll lay flat. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Get some more of your hot glue. Stick it on top, add a little leaf if you want, mm -hmm. or just keep it simple. Let me fold the napkin real quickly, and you put it in the center, uh -huh. and you are ready to go. And, just, and fold it like an accordion, and mm -hmm. that makes it easy. Oh, I did it the wrong way. That's you go okay. like this, back and forth. Okay. No, there's actually a website with like 50 different ways to fold a napkin out there. I think that's what it's called, 50 ways to fold a napkin. Okay, that's a bad representation. I used to be a weight person. We used to do this every night. Okay, there you go, and you're ready to go. And that's it. Put it in either the cup or set it on the plate, and mm -hmm. you are done. Fantastic. I also noticed that you can dress up your your dining room just by changing the curtains a little yes, bit. Yes, yes. And what's really cool, they have these really pretty, um, I, I call them the outside curtain over at Anna's Linens. And all you're going to do is bunch it, and you just take one of their candle rings here, pull it through, and then it kind of adds that little touch. And what's, whoops. <laughs> I'm trying not to knock our curtain down here. <laughs> well, we can see on this side how yes. it looks. It looks very pretty. It is something you can use just for Thanksgiving, and then you change it up for Christmas, and mm -hmm. you are ready to go. you could even add a different center curtain if you wanted for Christmas for another color. Love that. So, and I see that you have a fun, it's almost like you're starting with dessert yes. at, on your Thanksgiving table. Yeah, well, at my grandma's house, we always had mints or candy or something sitting at the place setting. Mm -hmm. And so all I did is I went over to, I think I got these at H-E-B, and it's just the corn husks that they make the tamales with. Mm -hmm. And you're going to go ahead and take some twine, and you're just going to tie a knot at the bottom here, mm -hmm. which is easy because it's kind of already brought together at the bottom. And then you're going to go ahead and get another piece of twine here. And the twine you can get over at Michael's as well. And you can tie it on both ends. Mm -hmm. I see you've got and some that one's already pieces. done. You Correct. Pour it in the center, and you've got a nice little Who candy appetizer, and it makes the look table setting look so <laughs> precious. Great ideas, and you can get these ideas and many more on your website. Yes. And again, want to let you know how you can see more of Adina's great ideas. You can check her out on the Live Well Network Saturdays at eight in the morning. Also, you can check out Holiday High. Highlightsessay.com and of course Adina's website craftingwithadina.com.